everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, today is going to be a little vlog, but the purpose of this video is actually going to be me showing you guys how I actually take care of my handbags. This is probably like the number one video that you guys request from me. However, I didn't want to do like a formal sit down video because once you see how I take care of my bags and the tips that I actually have, it's not much. It's very, very informal. I'm very casual about the way that I take care of my bags. I'm not one of those people who was like super anal about it. So um, yeah, that's why I decided to do it vlog style today. The plan for today is, well, it's Tuesday, so Noah and I have the day off together. However, I do have to pick up a couple of things at the mall um, for like last minute Christmas shopping. I might bring you guys along for that, but I think it might be boring. So I think I might just do, um, you know, my morning and then show you guys how I take care of my handbags and that might be it for the video but yeah I guess we'll see hopefully you guys find this interesting I'm also going to be sharing with you guys a couple of like answers to frequently asked questions about how I take care of my handbags as well so you know things like color transfer and all of that I hope that you guys aren't disappointed in my answers because they are going to be very very simple I've kind of got this like half makeup thing going on right now I only did foundation on the top half of my face and then my eyebrows I'll probably do some eye makeup and stuff too but I've already mentioned this in a vlog before but when I've been going out lately I don't wear any makeup like from here to here because of the mask so that's kind of why it looks it's weird. <laughs> Hi Noah. Yeah. You want some breakfast? Uh, yeah, I'd like some breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, make some breakfast. This is our Christmas tree. It's the same one that we had last year. I don't know if you guys remember that. And then these are all of our unwrapped gifts. <laughs> <laughs> we bought wrapping paper, but it disappeared. So everything's kind of like this until we find it. But <laughs> A fresh cup of coffee. Most important thing of the day. I wanted to make an omelet. We didn't really have too many things in our fridge, so this is pretty much all I'm gonna put in it. We got this pan as a um, Christmas pet, not a Christmas pet, a wedding gift, a really late wedding gift from one of our friends, and it's seriously amazing. It's called the Any Pan, I think. It was supposed to come with a spatula, but it didn't, so that's why I'm using this like ghetto rice cooker thing. <laughs> And for the finishing touch for all my meals, sriracha. Yum. All right, here we go. So this is the current state of my room. It is kind of messy right now, as you can tell. Um, I have it like kind of staged because I did take a photo for Instagram this morning. So before we get to the handbag care, I actually wanted to show you guys this because I just got it in the mail. I just got this set that everybody's been going crazy over from River Island, and it is this houndstooth set. I think I might wear this to the mall today. It's so freaking cute, guys. So it's just this little top with this cardigan, and there's also a skirt, but I ordered that separately, so it's coming like sometime this week, but look how cute this is. It's going to look so adorable. I'm probably going to pair it with like maybe a white skirt or something and then maybe like my white boots. I don't know. It's going to look so cute. I'll link this set below for you guys if you are interested in buying it. All right, so I moved the suitcases out of the way. First things first, I'm going to answer the number one question that I get about my handbag storage and that is, do I store my handbags like this when I'm not like using them or when I'm not filming a YouTube video? And the answer is yes. Now I know a lot of people think that you have to store you know, like in dust bags or maybe even boxes, I would say definitely do not ever store your handbags in a box, especially if you live in a climate that is maybe kind of humid. Um, but I do understand the value of putting them in dust bags. I just prefer not to. I think they're pretty safe like this. Sorry, you guys have to look at my messy room again. But some of the things to keep in mind are that if you look at my room, I only have one window and the blinds are closed and there's curtains on it. So when this room is not in use, aka when I'm not filming, 
I turn off these lights that I have, which are just like shadow box lights, and then the room gets pretty dark. Um, I'm not going to turn off that one because it gets really, really dark in here. So the most important thing, in my opinion, is to make sure that there is no like harsh light that is reflecting or shining on your bags at all times. That could definitely cause like some color damage and color loss, and we don't want that. So I keep my room pretty dark at all times. Another one of the questions I get asked all the time about is like dust and stuff like that. So number one thing that I do all the time is rearrange my shelves. So I make sure that none of the purses like stay in one position for more than, I would say for more than like a week. I normally kind of like, not OCD about it, but I get kind of bored and this relaxes me if I, you know, rearrange my shelf. So I always make sure that my bags are moving at least once a week. I mean, I try to rotate my bags in the way that I use them too, but you know, if a bag just sits on the shelf for a while, I actually make sure that, you know, it moves at least the position that it's in so that dust doesn't accumulate where it is. When the dust does accumulate on the shelves, I actually have this um, handheld vacuum cleaner and I would just, you know, vacuum the shelves. It's normally not just dust, it's normally like, you know, pet hair and stuff too. So I make sure to use my handheld cleaner whenever I do see like a pile up or a buildup of dust and pet hair. Speaking of which... Another thing that I do that I don't do too often though is I actually take one of these Chanel cleaning cloths. These come with all Chanel bags if you buy them brand new. It's just in the booklet and it's just like a um, microfiber cloth I guess. It's really really soft and I will sometimes use this to go over like my bags like this if I do notice that there is a little bit of dust or something in them. I always recommend like some sort of microfiber like this so if you you know don't have one of these you can definitely just buy something similar on Amazon. And yeah, I'll just go through my bags and kind of dust them off like this, just very, very gently with no moisture or anything. I always find that this cloth kind of helps like polish the leather in a way too. I don't know. It always just makes it feel shiny. It's also really good to use on hardware. So if I see that, you know, there's fingerprints and stuff, I'll give it a nice little rub. And usually the fingerprints come off with this microfiber cloth. It's really nice. Super shiny. You know, my singles have like a lot of scratches on them, but I bought it used, so. All right, another thing that people ask me about all the time is stuffing my bags. So I don't actually stuff any of my really small bags. I feel like, you know, the structure is kept pretty well just by how the bag is and how small it is. However, for bigger bags like my Chanel Jumbo, for example, I will actually keep the organizer that I have in here. So this is just a felt organizer that I got from Etsy. And I keep this in here just to keep its structure a little bit. I try to make sure that the organizer is empty most of the time but um I don't know I just make sure that the organizer's in there and it keeps its shape pretty well. I find that this is better than like air paper and tissue paper because sometimes with air paper, I notice that my mom does this, sometimes with air paper it kind of like stretches the bag out too much when it's in storage and I feel like you want the bag to be as neutral as possible when you're storing it. Like you don't want it to be stretched out the whole time that you're storing it. So yeah, the most that I ever do is pretty much just the bag organizer if the bag is big enough to have that being said, the only bag that I really have an exception for with that rule is my Lady Dior because this one is vintage. It's from 2004, so it's about 16 years old right now, and it is like losing its structure. This one, I used to have a bag organizer in here, but I think I gave it to my mom. So now I only um, stuff it with like what are these dust bags sorry so now I just stuff it with dust bags just to keep its shape a little bit you might notice some of my bags have these bag charms on here so I tend to keep the bag charms on the bag but just be aware that if you are using a bag charm that maybe is like a color or like um you know sometimes it'll be like leather and it'll be like a brighter color I would suggest to never store like a bright colored bag charm on a light colored bag because you will see color transfer if you keep it that way for too long I don't think I'll have any problem with something like this where you know it's just pearls and it's white so yeah I don't really see like there's going to be a problem with that but just keep that in mind if you do have bag charms in your bag you probably want to remove them before you store them if they are like a brighter color.
One more thing to keep in mind that doesn't really apply to me, but if you do have like light and dark colored bags, I would never put a light colored bag next to a dark color. This could technically apply to something like this, but I've never seen like a Chanel lambskin bag give color transfer to something else, especially like in a lighter color. And plus, if you can see this, they're not touching. So that's another one of my rules too. I make sure that none of my bags are actually, you know, touching like skin to skin, not skin to skin, but like material it's a material you know just in case like they do start to rub together somehow and that would just be a big no-no especially if you have like I said um different colored bags that are dark and light I would highly recommend you guys to make sure they're spaced out even just a little bit of space would be fine and um yeah just never put light and dark color bags together all right, so I'm sorry this video was kind of all over the place, but before I ended it, I did want to talk about a couple of things that people ask me about all the time. The first thing is going to be color transfer. Now, <laughs> I don't have anything profound to tell you. If you guys follow me on Instagram and if you've kind of like been observing my style up until maybe a couple of months ago, I just never wear dark colors. I'm sorry the answer is so simple and it probably only applies to, you know, people like me who only like light colors, but honestly, that is how I've been avoiding color transfer the entire time I've owned handbags. <laughs> because I only wear like, you know, light pinks and creams and whites and beige, that kind of thing, I just never have to worry about color transfer. However, because I have been wearing like darker colors lately, like black for instance, I have noticed myself um, carrying my handbags a little bit more carefully. If I'm carrying a handbag and I'm wearing something black, I notice that I will tend to either carry it in my hand or on the crook of my arm the most rather than like maybe on the shoulder or crossbody, just because if it is on the shoulder or crossbody, it'll wrap against your clothing a little bit more um but honestly because i don't wear you know darker colors that often i don't mind having to be extra careful like that when i do wear it i would actually suggest that you guys go over to chase amy's channel i'm not sure if you've heard of her but she is a youtuber from the uk and her youtube has a lot of great handbag advice and she does have specific videos where she talks about like color locking her jeans and stuff like that so because i cannot relate and i've never done any of that stuff before i will link her video down below below for you guys in case you are interested in that but um yeah I just really don't have any other advice for you guys um on color transfer I don't spray my handbags I don't spray my clothes so yeah I'm sorry I just needed to get that out there because people ask me about this all the time so yeah also along those lines people do ask me if I you know use any protectant on my handbags I don't now but I have used one before that is like a three-step protection I got it from a company called the handbag haven but they have since re branded and I can't remember their name off the top of my tongue but I will link to their products down below when I used them um, this is probably maybe a year maybe a year and a half ago I did really really enjoy their products now I didn't use their products in anything delicate like you know lambskin bags or anything but I do find that their protection sprays are really good and they didn't show like any discoloration or anything on the bags that I did use them on so I will link that below for you guys as well um, but yeah other than that that's pretty much it that's all I do to take care of my handbags. I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed because I don't do anything, you know, too crazy with them, but hopefully these tips helped you as well. Before I go, I just wanted to quickly remind you that I am giving away this SL Miss Glam travel case for the month of December. All you have to do to enter in this giveaway is leave this emoji down in the comment section down below. You can enter in as many videos as you like, so the more videos you watch and comment on, the more entries you'll have. You do also have to be following me and SL Miss Glam on YouTube and both of our Instagrams as well, but all of the links and all of the instructions will be in the description box below. All right, I'm gonna go. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm sorry again for how all over the place this was and this took two days to film. So <laughs> hopefully you got some useful information out of it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe and stay healthy out there and I will see you next time.